I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It is very challenging and a lot of fun. It can be a little intense at times, but that's part of the fun. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 28 tiles. Player 2 will get 27 tiles. We'll look at each player's hands, decide where the strengths lie, and make a plan. Then we'll start the game. We have a couple of jokers, north and west. In cracks, we have one, three, five, six, seven, nine. We have a pung of threes and a pair of nines. In bams, we have one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, a pair of ones and eights. In dots, we have three, four, five, six, pair of fours, pair of fives. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play little odds, leveraging that pung of threes. Here's one, three, five in bands, one, three, five here. And we even have a three here. The reason I'm not counting that is because the other hand or category I would play would be consecutive run, leveraging the four or five. We probably will not use this pair of eights, but I was thinking four, five, six, Kongs of sevens as an option. We have a long way to go, so we'll see how the drawing goes. This is how I do it, I think. One, three, five, little odds, and three, four, five, six, or four, five, six, seven of some kind. Maybe, maybe four, five, six, seven, seven. We could even do four or five, six, seven, eight, but we'd have to throw away this. So we might be able to use this up here. Four, five, six, seven, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe keep the eights for a bit. Discard these. That could be Joker Bait. If you want to know more about Joker Bait, uh, there are links in the video description below to demonstrations on that strategy that was coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. And in a nutshell, you discard one late, sort of in the middle of the game. Your opponent makes an exposure with the Joker, and then you use the other one to exchange the joker. It's hit or miss, but it's fun when it works. Let's see what we can do for the second player. We have a couple of jokers, pair of flowers, red dragon, west and south. In cracks, we have a five and a pair of nines. In dots, we have one, two, four, seven, nine, and then a pair of ones and a pair of fours. 
in BAMs we have three, four, six, seven, nine, pung of three, pair seven, pair or pair six, pair seven, pair nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play three, six, nine, one suit Kongs, and then like numbers with news with either fours or nines. This would be Joker bait. I think this is what I would do here. Really, we have four discards in Joker bait, eight discards, including the Joker bait for two hands. And here's an option for the first or the like number hand. But I do news with fours or nines. And then down here, three, six, nine. It would be nice if we could get more flowers to do the one suit Kong hand because Right now, we're using it up here, but we could break them up, one each, or just gather. The other thing I was thinking is we have a lot of five, seven, nine right here. So I think I would hold these two and then see what comes in and make another plan if we start building big odds. I'd start by discarding those. Let's start by discarding rest. And we'll use this to mark whose turn it is. This is a Mahjong dice from Modern Mahjong. I love the Joker. Oh, seven dot. There's a big, oh, that's not a seven dot. That's a six dot. We really don't need it, but it is a three, six, nine. Let's just keep it. Maybe we could put these down here. Let's discard red dragon. One bam, that's a little odd hand. Let's discard north. One, three, three, one, three, three, five. All right, we have lots of options in there. We could maybe play, oh no. I was thinking maybe we could play the concealed hand, but then we would need another plan down here. Five, seven, nine. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on it. Like maybe... Let's see, one, three, one, three, five. Use this as joker bait and then play five, seven, seven, nine. Keep that nine. Let's discard those next. Okay, drawing up here. Flower, we needed that right here for this potential three, six, nine, one suit Kong hand. Let's discard two dot. We're going to have to make a choice up there pretty soon. No two dot needed here. West. Nine bam. Oh yeah. I, I would focus on that. We might be able to make that one pure. We can use this to get that Kong. Maybe it would be exchanged down here. We can use this up here. Okay, let's see, did I discard? No. Okay, so we need to discard. This looks really solid to me. Let's discard six dot. Down here, we're hoping maybe for pairs, seven, seven. 
or five, six, seven, eight. We could pung here. We would have to use both our jokers to get that six. Then we wouldn't be able to act on either of these. Four, five. I think I would wait. Let's wait. Five crack. Okay, that's a hand, that's a good tile for up here. We could play one three three five, pung kong pung kong. No need for pairs there. Let's discard two bam. Up here, don't need twos. East, we need that for news. News with like numbers. So since this is pretty solid, let's discard five crack. Five crack. We have to make a choice here. I was thinking we could do one, three, one, three, five dot concealed, but here we could do one, three, three, five, and use this to get the Kong with that five crack. We could use this to help with the three. This three's already done. And then down here, we need a pair and then build these up. So one, three, three, five, let's Kong. And let's discard six crack. Drawing for player two. South, we already have a south. Let's discard seven dot though. Maybe something else will come in there. Drawing for player one. Two crack, we're committed here. Let's discard two crack. Drawing for player two. North, that's our news. Nice. Two joker bait there. We're gonna need to start bringing in some multiples here for four nine. Let's discard the one dot. Drawing for player one. Four bam. We're pretty locked in here. Here we're playing four five. Four five. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, we need that there. One, three, three, five. Let's discard nine, bam. Drawing for player two. Two crack, that's been discarded. Drawing for player one. Two, bam. Flower that we need for the the Kongs here. Let's discard one dot. Eight bam. Okay, now there's a pung. Let's see, seven, eight, four, five. Five, six, four, five, six, seven, seven, four, five pairs and a pung. No flowers. I was thinking maybe we could do five, six, seven, eight, but it's pretty weak. Here we're committed, so let's discard all those right there. Follow through here, see what happens here. So let's discard one crack. Drawing for player two. Six crack. We have three, six, nine going right there. We really don't need that. Seven dot. 
seven, eight, nine mixuit cons, but we have no flowers. Let's let's see, three, four, five. We do have a three here. Three, four, five. Okay, so let's let's discard seven dot. Drawing for player two. Four bam. Okay, we have the four. So that is what we want for news with like numbers. So, oh, there's a joker there. So we don't need this south. We've got news, pair, fours. Let's discard south. Drawing for this player, player one, four crack. We have a five up there. We're locked in here. Here we want four, five, six, seven, seven, hopefully. Or five, six, seven, eight. Four crack. Green. Oh. Well, I suppose we could maybe switch to all fours, but the four cracks out, one of them, and we, we don't even have a single there. I think I would let, let that go stick with the plan but we could hold it for a little bit let's discard nine dot drawing for player one one bam oh we just need a pung there we're good one one bam we just got through the second wall drawing for player two Five bam. Oh, three, five, seven, nine. The ones, one just went down. But this is really solid. I would stick with it. Oh, did I did I miss a nine bam? I think I might have missed a nine bam. I don't remember. If we had a pair when that nine bam went down, I don't remember. Eight crack. Here's an eight nine. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight. No, I don't think that's going to be helpful. Let's stick with the plan. Three dot. Joker. Well, now we can rest easy. We can use a joker there. Let's discard green. Five bam. Five bam. Four five. There's a hand, maybe. Four five, four five, six crack. But there's a six crack already. Two six cracks are out. Let's discard four bam. Four bam. Up here, we're going to Kong. Four bam for this hand here. Let's discard nine crack. Down here, we are going to maybe use that for joker bait, but we can discard it now since our opponent won't need it. North. It'll be safe to discard any time. Seven dot or nine crack. Let's do nine crack. 2BM, don't need. One crack. South. Four crack. We did get a four crack. We could still switch. Oh, we let the green dragon go. Seven dot. That's okay. This looks pretty solid to me. Green, it's already out. Seven crack. Oh, it's dwindling here. East. Joker. 
right here. Nice. Let's throw, let's keep it for just a bit. Seven bam. We could still maybe play four, jo four flowers and fours, but probably not. Drawing here. Oh yeah, we can't call that. We need Kongs there. Or let's put that back. We could do five, six, seven, eight, and pung that with a joker. But let's see, the sevens are kind of going down. Seven crack, one seven crack and one seven bam are out. I'm just thinking that maybe we should play five, six, seven, eight and call it. I think so. Because those seven cracks and now the seven bam are going to fuss with that hand and we still need a pair there. Now we can use jokers and then we can use this for joker bait and discard these. Now these are going to be safe discards. We're we're still in the middle of the middle game, so let's go ahead and discard the nine crack. We've got jokers out. Always keep an eye on jokers. We have a joker here with the five crack, one with the seven bam, and one with the four bam. It's really easy to get a little myopic and just focus on your own tiles. You'll discard and miss a joker, so try to look at the exposures for jokers before you discard. Easier said than done sometimes. Flower. Here we can keep it for just a little bit. So I was just saying that you can get so focused and here's a joker we can exchange and we're going to. We're gonna exchange, thank you. Okay, so now we can discard four crack. Okay, so we're actually ready on double mahjong on Four dot, three bam, six bam, the nine bam's out. Drawing here. Green, that's out. Flower. Oh, we're not ready yet. We've got flowers here. We don't need all these flowers. So we need to start discarding here. We're not quite ready. Well, this is, that's a winning hand there. We need help here. So let's discard a flower. Green. Drawing up here. One dot. One away from double mahjong. We need one more good pick. Six bam. Nine, uh, let's see, nine crack was thrown. That's joker bait, both of those. One dot. Okay, we're in the middle of the middle game. This is the time when joker bait has the best results. Middle of the middle wall. So we have a pair of four bams up there. They could be playing consecutive run. They could be playing evens or maybe like numbers. It's a little hard to tell with one exposure. There's a seven dot out, seven crack is out. They threw it. No eight cracks are out and a six bam. Middle of the middle game. So we have time for fresh tiles. So let's throw a five bam. That would be a joker bait tile. No, and they didn't want it, so that now is a good discard. Red dragon. Eight dot. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight dot. We need five, six dot here. Oh, five bam, they didn't want it. And drawing up here. 
to crack. You know what, we should really discard that flower pretty soon. Three dot, we don't need that. And it's out. Probably should get rid of the joker bait here pretty quick too. Six dot, six dot. Oh, let's let the flower go. That's the more risky tile drawing for player one. Five bam. Well, we can, let's let the five bam go and then we'll let the four dots go in a couple picks. Drawing up here. Five dot. We don't need that. Oh, we need it here though. Pung. So we're going to pung here. Five dot. Pure pung. Let's discard six bam. Up here, we have a Kong. Make sure you put it on the right rack because this is for this is for this is for this hand, this is for this hand. So you got to get it on the right rack. Okay, now we're ready on double mahjong after we discard this. We need a, a four dot or a three bam to win double mahjong. So we'll throw six dot. And this we need a Kong for. We have no more jokers, so we're a little stuck. Red dragon. Two crack. Oh wait, did I just draw a two crack here? No, it went, did I forget to move that? I threw six dot, red dragon. No, no, no. Six dot, red dragon, two crack. Now this is the white dragon for this hand. Okay, I forgot to move that. It's really easy to get out of turn. Okay, two bam. Don't need that. Here. Eight dot. We really need an eight bam. Let's discard. Oh, we're getting towards the end, end of that middle wall. If you have fresh tiles, especially joker bait, this is when you want to make sure you start discarding those because they become more and more risky as the game progresses. So we're going to discard four dot and that is double mahjong for this player. We'll put this down here, these up here, this right here, and these right there. So there's our double mahjong. We have news with fours and three, six, nine, and one suit, one suit Kongs. And this player, it would have been nice if they had a few more jokers. They needed to Kong here and here. And then we needed to Kong here. We had joker bait. This would have been a nice disc, uh, exchange, but they were ready with the help of all those jokers. When you get your dealt hand, arrange your tiles by suit and in numerical order. Put all your winds together, your dragons together, put the flowers and jokers to the side in your rack, then get the lay of the land. Look for the strength of the hand, which will be multiples. Also, if you don't have multiples, look for a predominant pattern. Sometimes you can use a mixture of both. Then make a plan for your hand. Stay flexible and stay concealed as long as you can. That way you have access to jokers. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.